Hello, and welcome back for another Christmas movie review, where I'm going to be reviewing Home Alone 2. Now, for the longest time growing up, I used to say Home Alone 2 was my favourite out of the two, because I don't, I've seen the first three, and haven't seen any of the ones afterwards, and I have no intention on re-watching Home Alone 3, because even when I first watched it, when I was first getting introduced to the Home Alone uh, series, I never liked it. Uh, as a kid, uh, and I just haven't rewatched it since, unlike uh, Home Alone 1 and Home Alone 2. So, yeah, for the longest time, Home Alone 2 used to be my favourite, but because I've watched these somewhat back to back, um, my opinions have changed uh, drastically, actually. So, now I don't know which one I prefer because both have merit. Don't get me wrong, both movies have merits. Yes, essentially, it is the same movie with Home Alone and Home Alone 2. Um, but this, the only difference with Home Alone 2 is it's set in New York. Um, but aside from that, there are bits that I love of both. Um, but one thing I will say is, you know, when Kevin goes to the Plaza Hotel, I know that's owned by uh, Trump, uh, former President Trump. And um, he does make an appearance in this and uh just a little cameo and the one thing that i love that has spawned from that is on twitter there's a uh twitter account that i follow i still call it twitter even though it's x now um yeah so i call uh so on twitter there's an account that i follow called discussing films and anytime trump gets into some mischief they end up tweeting out uh, former Home Alone 2 actor Donald J. Trump is uh, blank, you know, and I always find that to be very, very funny. Um, but yeah, also, you know, the Plaza Hotel in this, uh, I believe, was used as the blueprint for uh, the Tipton Hotel in the Disney Channel series, uh, The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. I'm pretty sure, because they look very, very similar, but I could be wrong on that one. But yeah, anyway, uh, so when it comes to Home Alone, the original, what I love is that, it, you know, it does feel like a Christmas movie. It gives you all those warm and fuzzy feelings. And again, John Williams' score is far superior in Home Alone 1 than Home Alone 2. I noticed that it wasn't as good compared to uh, this one. I also noticed a bit of a continuity error. So Home Alone 1 came out in 1990 when uh, Macaulay Culkin was eight. Um, then two years later, when he was 10, he made this film. Uh, but in the first Home Alone movie, he makes, me makes mention that he's eight, but Home Alone 2 set, is set one year after the original and um in it he says he's 10 so i i noticed that bit of a continuity error uh it's it's not it's small it's unnoticeable you know uh if if you're not truly paying attention if you're not looking at it uh, through an analytical mind you know um but yeah he's also like uh the traps in the first one um were a lot well some of them were a lot worse than than in Home Alone 2, I will say that. But I'm also surprised that Marv was still alive after taking four bricks to the head. Um, just one would nearly kill a person, let alone taking four straight to the forehead. Like, yeah, it, Kevin almost killed him. He literally almost killed him. If it wasn't for a movie logic, he would have killed him. Uh, and then, of course, as soon as he gets back up, he gets a, a staple in the ass and in, in the nuts. Uh, and then, of course, he gets basically pumped full of, a, you know, a lot of electricity. I don't know exactly the amount of volume, but it was enough to make his skeleton show. And let's see that. And that's one thing I do love about this movie is the fact that there's a lot of memes that have come out from this one. You know, there's the meme uh, when uh, after Marv gets into the house. He falls down to the basement, he stands up, he looks up and he goes, wow, what a hole. And I've seen that in multiple different memes, 
main format and I love it. And then of course there's, as I mentioned, the uh, scene where he's getting electrocuted. There's an NSFW uh, meme that has spawned from that that I absolutely love. Um, but yeah, I definitely think uh, I, I'm now leaning towards preferring the first Home Alone to Home Alone 2. Um, but I did laugh more on this rewatch of Home Alone 2 than I did with the original. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. I, uh, I, it's a mixed bag now for me with, with this, with these two films. You know, before I knew black and, it was black and white that I knew I loved Home Alone 2 over Home Alone 1. But now that I've rewatched both of them, you know, uh, so close together... And going in, you know, with an analytical mind this time instead of just switching on something to enjoy and switching my brain off. Um, it's definitely changed my, my thoughts and opinions on it. But yeah, that that's all I really have to say about this, uh, this film. Let me know what you thought of uh, Home Alone 2 in the comments down below. And yeah, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you all on the next upload.